I wanted to show the, the vase it was in because all it is is a big. Oh, I can show you that. Just don't want to hurt the plant. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> it's a butt. Turn it around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. It's up, Corbin. I'm Ray. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 So this is a comedy sketch. It's called Why Should Hot Girls Have All the Fun? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm laughing already. That's what everybody always knows. Only hot girls have fun. Ugly people don't have any fun. That's true. We you should just rid the world stupid ugly of people. ugly people. Uh, this is apparently from a channel called Girl Yappa. Oh. Girly Yappa. Girly Yappa? It doesn't sound like a channel you should actually visit. Uh, say these names. Bob, Harold, and Leslie. Oh. Uh, Malika Dua and Shristi Srivastava. That is all I know about it. Why should hot girls have all the fun? I'm assuming they shouldn't be the only ones having all the fun. And it depends on what you mean by hot. Because if you have fabricated... Yeah, no, because like, if you're wearing lots of makeup and you have d done fabrications on yourself and put in fake butts and fake boobs, and that ain't hot. That's not attractive. Au natural, my friend. Au natural. Swing. And gotta have some, gotta be... Swing low, swing low, sweet chariots. What? All natural. Oh, nice. Oops. Yeah, Here we go. And thick. <laughs> Here we go. Be thick. Okay, cool. Let me get a Okay. Hashtag food porn. <laughs> food porn. Yeah. Life. Tough life. Oh, God. He's staring at me. I'm gone, who then? That creep. Oh, so ugly. Oh. Oh, that's rude. Why are you staying there, oh, God? Skito. Too green tippy. Huh? I'm not there. Pito. I think uh, from another sketch. Eight out of six girls. 
I like it. The, those two, the two main girls were uh, really good. Very good. They put they put all their effort into it. Yeah, we've seen her before. I think on it's the a, left. I think it's in another sketch. I think we saw her in another sketch uh, a while back. Maybe two of them, uh, but that was very very good. Yeah, uh, they they because a lot of times these internet sketches can sometimes be a little a little cringy. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. Not all of them, obviously. We've seen a ton of great ones. I've, I've probably seen more great ones than bad ones. Yes. Um, but you know, they they can go south sometimes. Um, but they sh I felt they did a great job. They they committed to what they were doing, yep. and and that's what you got to do. Yeah, they clearly trust each other, have worked together, have fun doing this. Uh, really feel like you could give them anything, and they're just gonna take it and run with it. Yeah. So I would, um, next time I hear that we're watching some of theirs, I'm going to be excited. Girliapa. That was great. Girliapa. Very funny. And the message of the thing itself is funny because on the one hand, they're absolutely right. They, you know, the same, there's that contradiction of on the one hand, you don't want to be treated like a sex object. Mm -hmm. Yet on the other hand, you don't want to be ignored. <laughs> you want to be noticed and seen as being pretty. You know, there's the balance of... No, no, but you're pretty versus don't treat me like a sex object. And girls deserve both. They deserve to not be treated like sex objects. And they and deserve to be treated like sex objects. No, and they, and oh, they deserve sorry. to be. I'm confused. No, little, little thing to do, <laughs> truly. Like, for most guys can't do this. And I don't understand. Like, I, I told go, the story go to for more than two minutes? That. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys, guys, if you're having that problem, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to mock it. Um, that. Uh, I was at a Chipotle and there was Chipotle. a girl, yeah, Chipotle, there was a girl behind the counter. This was two, three years ago, easy, maybe four. And she had gorgeous eyes, mm -hmm. just like staggeringly pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. And I instantly, when I saw her, I wanted to say something, but I didn't at first because I thought I don't want her to get the wrong impression. I don't want to just make a comment about her physical appearance. But something inside of me was saying, no, just it's okay to tell her that. And so when it stopped, I said, got to pay my thing. And I said, you probably have heard this many times before. And I don't, and in fact, I remember it was when I was married to Andrea, I had my ring on. I said, and I don't mean this in any other motive than just pure compliment, but you have extremely pretty eyes. And she sincerely got this like, thank you. Like that really means a lot. And that's much better than, you know, the, Hey, baby, why don't you come over here and put your eyes on my butt? If that's your go-to line, uh, you're, you're doing it all wrong. Your go-to line should be genuine and honest and caring and sincere. Don't be a fuckboy. 
Penchot. <laughs>